Welcome Libras and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message on your twin flame journey for week commencing Monday the 25th of July through to Sunday the 31st of July 2022. On the left hand side will be your crown crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the twin flames of Libra, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journey for week commencing Monday the 25th of July through to Sunday the 31st of July 2022. What is their current energy? Oh, thank you. Oh, so we've got finances and time apart. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the twin flames of Libra, thank you, children, children are important to this partnership, okay, uh, Libras, I, oh they're telling me to look at the bottom of the deck, self-care, Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Okay, what I am channeling, Libras, for those of you that I'm connecting with, I feel that this is something new. Whoever you're connecting with or encountered is something new. Finances, there may be financial challenges that's affecting this connection and time apart, some distance will help bring clarity. I feel that many of you are at a distance because what I am picking up is that uh, whoever you're connected to, they've gone through some some sort of deep healing, okay? They've gone through some sort of deep healing um, and I feel that they really want to rush into this connection. They, uh, It feels as if the two of you could be from um, different backgrounds, have different values or belief systems. Um, and this is might be where children is important, okay? But I feel that this time apart, I feel that you're already apart, okay? The distance between you is there for a reason to help bring clarity Clarity, maybe clarity with regards to finances or clarity with regards to children, or it could be a combination of both. I am picking up. Oh, wow. OK, so whoever it is coming in, uh, Libras, I feel that they have big dreams with you. Big dreams, children, finances, building a future, but you're not together at the moment. And I feel that they're coming in to say um, that uh, you two will be together. So this feels as if your souls recognize each other. This feels like a very deep soul connection, twin flame connection. But your souls recognize each other. And I feel that the distance is here and now. You're not together, okay? I feel that they want to rush in. There might be money issues. Uh, maybe you need to or they need to uh, save up money in order to come into union. But there is a topic with regards to children um, that I feel needs to be discussed. I'm also picking up the two of you are quite telepathic. So watch out for those dreams, signs and synchronicities because I feel that they may be communicating with you or you may be communicating with them. Let's get your crowning wisdom messages. See what else we can channel here. My angels and spirit guides. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Look at that. All three cards. OK, so with a uh, two, three, three. Three, the intensity of this connection may stir up fear in someone. A runner chaser dynamic may form. You have definitely met your twin flame uh, Libras, okay? Because one of you is a runner and one of you is a chaser. I feel that the person that you're connected to, uh, they may be, uh, actually, they may be the runner. They may be the, well, actually, I, I will, I have to get more um, information because I'm getting that this person is rushing in after doing some healing. So maybe, maybe they are the runner. Maybe they have um, run from this connection or they are um, 
separate from you. They are keeping some sort of distance because they've got stuff to figure out, maybe to do with children, maybe to do with their finances or vice versa. But they have big dreams of this connection. With the red heart representing the root chakra, I feel that many of you, you want this connection um, to be solid, to be grounded. It's almost as if things to do with money and children needs to be cleared. It needs to be talked about in order to build a solid relationship, in order to build a solid foundation for the connection. And so if you are not, a, if you are apart or um, you are in the same, uh, you, you're definitely not living with this person or uh, in the same location, you're definitely in different locations. There's a reason why that time apart is there. It's so that both of you can um, ask yourself those questions about finances, children, and what kind of foundation that you're going to be building. With 4141, look at that, yeah. I told you, you guys are already apart. And you know what? For those of you that I'm connecting with, you may already be thinking about finances, children. How is this going to work? How are we going to stay, sustain ourselves? If you or this person are from different locations and one has to come to the other or the other goes to the other, you know, whoever's doing the traveling to the other, they may be concerned. How are they going to support themselves? How is it going to work? What if we have children? They may want children, you may want children. It's important to the partnership. So it feels as if this time apart is bringing clarity so that the two of you can build a solid foundation. And so with the green heart representing the heart chakra, 4141, congratulations. You've taken the proper steps in your healing journey, which assures success. Didn't I say to you that this person is rushing in after um, some deep healing? Yeah. And I feel that the two of you might even be mirroring each other. Definitely on the astral plane, I feel that both of you are in sync, that you will be together. There may be some residual stuff. Definitely with the person that you are connecting with, um, to do with um, past relationships, past hurts. Maybe it affected their finances. Maybe they have children. Maybe whoever they were with before didn't want children. They wanted children. Maybe they can't have children. Maybe, you know, they have children already. But I feel that the distance between the two of you to give you the clarity to build something that's solid. Because the, the connection is very intense and it's stirring up fear in one of you. Libra, it's your reading, so it could be you, yeah? It's saying a form runner-chaser dynamic may form. I almost feel as if Divine Spirit Universe is protecting this connection so that the runner-chaser dynamic doesn't occur. So if um, you are operating authentically within your heart space, taking the time to get clarity on how this is going to work, how the two of you are going to build a solid foundation moving forward that you can build upon, you're being guided, congratulations, because you're taking the necessary steps to really think about this connection. And then 0550, your angels say, wait and bide your time for better results. Absolutely. There is clarity in this connection, uh, Libras, that I feel that your heart space is guiding you to. All right. I feel that many of you are already taking heed of that. So congratulations. I also feel that the time apart is to give you both clarity on how you're going to build this relationship so that. Whoever is fearing, um, one is going to run and one is going to chase. That whole twin flame dynamic of the runner chaser is almost as if that doesn't materialize. And so by waiting and taking this time to get clarity of how this is going to work is actually the, re the best step for the two of you. But I feel that telepathically, you both know that you will be together soon. It may not be today. It may not even be this week. But you will be together. How interesting. Okay. 
Libras, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Libras. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does um, help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's truly appreciated. And I do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the twin flames of Libra, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journey? Week commencing. Monday the 25th of July through to Sunday the 31st of July 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Libra that I'm allowed to see for the highest good and for the greater good of all? <clears throat> As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's see Libra what's going on with you and your person. <clears throat> Oh, I'm going to, well, no, they're telling me take it. Oh, wow. Look, look. So, uh, okay. So, uh, Libra, whoever you're connecting with is having some regret with regards to third party. It feels as if it is the divine masculine that is feeling regretful. I feel that um, there is some sort of third party energy, maybe to do with children. Either this person already has children or they want children or it could be finances or there, there could be, I mean, it may not even be people. It could be fear, anxiety, um, apprehension. But it feels as if, if they tell, I feel that this grief card is you. You may want a family. There is a real topic to do with family coming up. Either they have a family, you're going to find out they have a family, or their family could be a third party. But Libras, I feel that um, I mean this is a twin flame reading, right? So it can it can it can it can mirror each other. But I, so I feel that I need to just echo that until we do the clarifiers, it is the divine masculine in this connection that has regret, and it is the divine feminine that is grieving something. Okay. Possibly they're going to find out about a third party situation, which looks like this person's got children or they want children. OK, I feel that many of you, you want family or you may find out they have a family already. And you're thinking about that quite closely. Grieving, you know, because how can you build a solid foundation if they have a family already? Or grieving the fact that... They may not want children or they have children already. Let's continue. Thank you. And then we have, oh, okay. Well, Libras, I feel this looks like males' hands. So I would say whoever the divine masculine in this connection is, is that they are genuinely offering devotion. Yeah. Uh, they are offering uh, a gift of devotion showing you the light in some shape, form or another, or you are showing them the light if you are the divine masculine in this connection. Uh, you're definitely taking the right steps, okay, to offer a gift. Maybe the gift is a family. Maybe the divine feminine is grieving because they can't have a family or you're thinking definitely about a family, but the divine feminine in this connection is definitely grieving and the divine masculine is feeling regretful. Let's get some uh, clarifiers. This is why your angels are saying wait and, and bide your time for better results. There's something that needs to be cleared up. OK, so the divine masculine definitely wants a new beginning. I feel that they're going to offer this olive branch to you, which is this devotion. 
yeah i feel that there is a discussion that is going to be had all right um and the reason why you're apart is because it needs to be talked about but you may need to think about how you're going to address finances and children specifically okay i feel that whatever the divine masculine is regretful about they're going to offer that olive branch which is genuine devotion they're going to try and light the way so whatever the conversations about money and children is the divine feminine is going to be upset it might have something to do with the third party either the divine masculine has children already or has a family already I feel that the Divine Masculine is extremely passionate towards the Divine Feminine. Um, and uh, it's keeping them up at night. Yeah. Maybe a little bit apprehensive, a little bit scared. Maybe a little bit confused how this is going to work. But it does feel as if um, you both will come into union and have a family. Because it feels as if the divine masculine is devoted to that. Yeah, look, they're sad. The divine masculine is coming up sad, disappointed, or they are picking up that the divine feminine is going to be sad and disappointed when they have to tell them about some sort of third party. That third party could be that they have children already. It could also be that the divine feminine is letting the divine masculine know that they don't know that they can have a family, which is really important. The divine masculine is feeling regretful, confused, not sure what to do, sad, disappointed. So it feels as if the third party that's coming in Libra for the person that you're connecting with is to do with your uh, to do with emotions. Fear, anxiety, sadness, disappointment. But look at those two cups in the window. The connection is protected. This is why the time apart is really important at this, at this time to get clarity on kind of what you both want. I feel as if the divine feminine is getting this gift from the divine masculine of devotion because it feels as if they both, like, if the divine masculine is, like, you're thinking about the divine masculine or you're the divine masculine, the devotion is family. Maybe they are devoted to their family and want to have fa a family. Children are, 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 Libra, children are really, really important into the, in this connection. I would uh, strongly recommend that you talk about it now because it feels as if this is a, a new love, yeah, a new beginning. But there is some sadness that is going on here that feels as if um, it may not play out fully this week because your angels are saying, wait, bide your time for better results. It's like the time apart gives you both space to think clearly. Because whether you are the divine feminine or the divine masculine, this connection is almost as if the intensity, if it's brought up, one of you is going to be a runner and one of you is going to be a chaser. Which is going to create disappointment, fear, regret, grief, loss. So see how Divine Spirit Universe works in our favour because of the love um, that Divine Spirit Universe, our higher selves have for us. This is a new love that uh, I feel that is very, very much protected. Yeah, look... Whoever is um, the divine masculine, they're surrendering to the connection, yeah? Surrendering to have a conversation. They may be a little bit guarded, okay? In fact, they may even be burdened. Nine wands and one wand, ten of wands, burden. The nine of wands is the wounded warrior and it's coming up with a male figure. So they may be, um, the divine masculine may be uh, burdened by whatever this third party is. Maybe they know that if they tell you about children, finances, they're going to know that you're going to be disappointed. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be grieving. It's keeping them up at night. But they're, they're coming in with a solid um, new beginning, offering an olive branch, which I feel is this devotion. So this person, 
uh, definitely is surrendering. It could be you. It could be them. I can't call it right now. But I'm just going to say that the divine masculine wants to offer devotion to the divine feminine, surrendering to the connection. Um, even though there is some regret, something that's on their mind to do with their finances, to do with their children, and they know that it's going to upset the divine feminine. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify how does the twin flames of Libra, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journeys? For week commencing Monday the 25th of July. Thank you. Oh, wow. Well, this is really beautiful to come out. The Ace of Cups. Those of you that know me, my favourite card. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning, a new love. I told you this was a new love. This is where two human beings, okay, regardless of what you're seeing with your human eyes, this is two souls that love each other unconditionally regardless of what's going on in our reality in our human selves this is unconditional love so this person knows that you love them and you know that they love you okay but there is a new beginning there is a new beginning new love i feel that both of you are very confident that you will be together but it feels like it's going to be a bit of a bumpy road to get there stay hang in there because you're doing all the right things to heal something um, before you get into the runner chaser dynamic. Let's continue. But this is a new beginning based on basically the love that um, the divine masculine has for the divine feminine. Maybe they are afraid that if they speak about finances or children, the divine, mas the divine feminine will turn their back out of fear. Yeah, again, it's the uh, runner chaser scenario. Let's continue. I'm still can't call in who's the divine feminine or the divine masculine Libras. I think it's going to be different for all of you. But this is definitely your side Libra and this is their side. Uh, yeah, uh, you could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. You're being guided Libra that you've got the strength and the courage to move forward with this connection, to embark on a new journey based on love, okay? Libras. Actually, do you know something? Because we've got the divine masculine here and the divine masculine here, actually, Libras, your energy could be here, their energy could be there. It's going to be different for all of you. So it's best that I just keep it as divine masculine and divine feminine because I'm still not calling it. Unless your Libra sign comes out on your sign to give me absolute affirmation that this is your energy. I can't call it. Let's continue. You're being guided anyway that you've got the strength and the courage to have these conversations, to enter this new love, this new beginning. Yeah, look, uh, Libras, the two of swords. Okay. All right. So there is a conversation. All right. The two of swords is all about a conversation, a choice, a choice to have a conversation about family. All right. It could be an existing family or a family in which um, your divine counterpart uh, wants to talk about or you want to talk about. With the Two of Swords coming in reverse, this is fear, confusion, conflict, being overwhelmed. Is that you or is that them? You can see, okay? You can see there is a conversation that needs to be had about family, all right? But you may not feel that you've got the strength and the courage to talk about it. You're being guided that you have moved forward and talk about it. With the um, uh, Five of Wands, the Five of Wands is all about conflict internal conflict okay with it coming in reverse this is all about self-doubt self-doubt that you can um talk about family talk about having a family or a family that you already have so it's like you're overwhelmed you may be doubting that you can negotiate talk 
but you know that there is a conversation. Feeling really overwhelmed, doubting yourself. I feel that you're being guided, but you've, you've got this. You can have this conversation. It almost feels as if not having the conversation grieves the divine feminine. Creates regret with the divine masculine. So if you are the divine feminine, you're being guided that you can almost trust this connection. Talk about what needs to be spoken about. If you're the divine masculine, the same, the same thing applies. It's like if this conversation about children and finances, if it's not... If it's not spoken about, it's going to create um, blockages in this connection. You may also feel that the other person, there's competition. If you find out they've got a family or if you've got a family that, you know, one of you are going to feel that there's competition. That's that five of wands that can also represent competition. In the context, it feels as if it's just all very overwhelming. Self-doubt. Do you remember when we were looking at, the, we, we turned these cards and we saw self-care? Apply some self-care, some self-love, some self-compassion to yourself. You're stronger than you think. Yeah, remember that this is uh, the opportunity for a new be beginning based purely on love, not material stuff, not, you know outside influences which is a third party which could be anything right it could be family friends work money children it could be um a, a, an actual third person you know maybe one of you are already have a family yeah and look at that libra didn't i say did I not say the only way that I'm going to know if this side is 100% yours is if your, if your sign pops up. The justice is your major arcana. So Libras, let, let's just recap because they're saying to me that this is your side. Okay. Either you are the divine masculine. All right. So you are a male Libra or if you are a female Libra, you are the uh, predominant divine masculine energy in this connection. I feel that um, you do see that you have a soul contract with this person over here. Um, and I feel as if you do want to offer devotion, your purpose may be to light the way to all of this confusion, finances, children, whatever it is. Know that you have the strength to have these conversations. Uh, you don't need to self be uh, doubt yourself or feel that you can't talk about it. You can, all right? Uh, obviously, with the justice, it feels as if um, uh, the justice also represents reconciliation. So again, it's echoing what I was channeling, that the two of you may, your souls recognize each other. Even if you are apart or not in the same location, not living together, your souls recognize each other. And it almost feels as if bide your time for better results. Yeah, I feel that many of you, you do want to commit. You're giving a gift of light, of love, of peace. Because you see that this soul contract is there with this person. Your soul recognizes them and you want to reconcile. It may even be you that's saying, look, we will be together again. Because that is what your soul is telling you. All right. Uh, the, your person could have Libra in their chart as well. You could have Libra. So Libra and Leo are popping up here. Let's continue. But yeah, there's a reconciliation, a soul contract between the two of you. And the reason why you're not in union at the moment is because there's clarity that needs to be sorted out about the practical stuff, family, uh, family, children, finances. Oh, look at that. The sun. Well, it came out in reverse, but what we really want to see is it face up. The sun is the most prosperous card in the whole of tarot. It's about abundance. It's all about happiness. It's about prosperity. Right now, it's in reverse. 
you're unhappy, you can see the abundance, you can see the connection, you can see the prosperity, but it may be your own self-doubt that is preventing these conversations to happen. What you need to do is kind of get that turning around yeah you want this abundance i you know claim it receive it okay at the moment it's in reverse and i think it's because of these reversals down here um doubt self-doubt not sure whether or not you should bring up the conversation with regards to children family finances talk about it libras talk about it it will be in your favor leo coming up really strongly again let's have a look and see what your twin flame messages are for each other my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me? Thank you. First message from your, div oh, two. Look, something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what it is. Absolutely. And that is possibly where the regret is coming in from the divine masculine. All right. Um, or whoever has the divine masculine energy in their chart. All right. The regret is, is that... Um, there's still something missing. Um, I'm in a much better headspace now, okay? So either the divine feminine is thinking about the divine masculine or vice versa. Something is missing. Something isn't quite right. Something is almost on the verge of derailing this connection because of finances and children. That's why you're being guided to bide and, and, and wait, Yeah. Wait for the divine feminine to be in a better headspace. All right. Um, thank you. But this is your divine counterpart's side. So depending on whether what side you sit on, I mean, you could be a Libra man or a Libra woman. I don't know. But all I know, this definitely is you because that is your major arcana that's come up. So that's giving me some sort of clarification uh, that Libra, you're definitely sitting on the right hand side. So however, whether you are the divine feminine or the divine fa uh, masculine, it doesn't even really matter. Whoever's sitting on this side, there's something missing for them. Okay. They're in a much better headspace as this time apart gives them clarity let's see what your message is oh look your message to them i've looked you up online to see what you have been doing okay so that's telling me that two of you are definitely apart from each other you could be in different countries different locations town city state uh you're definitely looking this person up to see what they are doing all right let's continue Thank you. I feel that they've got big dreams. I feel safer in silence. This is why, <laughs> Libras, you've got the reversals of the two of swords and um, the uh, five of wands. Swords are all about communication, talking. You know, you can see, look at the veil. You can see that there is a conversation that needs to be had. But right now you feel safer in silence. It's like you don't know what to say to do with finances, to do with children, to do maybe even with your family, okay? But whatever it is, you're feeling um, a lot safer in silence right now, okay? And I feel that this person knows that something is missing, th something isn't quite right, but they will know that you want to offer them devotion. Something's telling me to... Gosh, they're saying, okay, let me pull a couple more cards for you. Please can you give me more information for Libra. More information for Libra, please. Thank you. Yeah. So it looks as if um, the, the divine masculine is definitely sitting on this side. Or, you know, even if they're female, they're divine masculine. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it look, look, the divine feminine in this connection is pausing because they're upset of something that the divine masculine is going to tell them. However, uh, they are contemplating about whatever it is. I mean, you might be the divine masculine. But it's like, you know, that whatever it is, you've got to tell the divine feminine, it's going to it's going to create an upset. That's why you are remaining silent. But this person is picking it up. 
and they are putting the divine feminine is putting a pause because they don't want to lose the connection they don't want to grieve the connection they don't want the heartbreak but the divine masculine which i feel honestly libras are you like you want to offer this devotion but you may not know how to bring up the topic about finances and children i feel that the divine feminine is on this side and they are thinking about that they don't know whether to, to, to turn away or to just pause this connection until you tell them oh my goodness they're just saying to me this person whoever the divine feminine energy is is very much connected to the divine masculine it feels as okay, now i'm getting it now i'm getting it the divine masculine um sorry the divine feminine is on this side the divine masculine is on this side the divine feminine is thinking very heavily about the divine masculine it almost feels as if the divine feminine knows that there is something the divine masculine has to tell them and they don't know whether or not they should walk away yeah or whether they should just stop and pause the relationship until the divine masculine in this connection thinks about it and talks about it it's like the divine feminine knows that the divine masculine is going to be regretful of something that they've got to tell them to do with a third party and they're thinking about it for the divine masculine something is still missing the divine feminine is picking it up jesus you guys are very connected that's why i couldn't differentiate who was the divine feminine and the divine masculine this is the divine feminine who is strongly connected to the divine ma uh, ma oh my gosh that's why they were telling me you're telepathic oh my gosh that's why that's why you're communicating telepathically oh my gosh i didn't even connect the dots <clears throat> That is why the divine masculine is coming up on the divine feminine side. It's almost as if the divine feminine knows what's actually going through the divine masculine's head. But guess what? The divine masculine also knows what's going on in the divine feminine's head. They know that they want devotion. They know they want a family. But there's something that the divine masculine has to tell them, which I feel they know is going to upset the divine feminine. But they still want to give devotion. It's not as if the divine masculine doesn't love the divine feminine. Of course they do. Yes, look at that. That's why the divine masculine has um, some shadow work to do. Yep. There it is. So this is where the telepathy is coming out and that's why the energies look like they're in reverse. The so just to be clear, the divine feminine is on the left-hand side, thinking heavily of the divine masculine, knowing that they will regret if they don't speak their truth about finances, about children. And it could be that they know that the divine masculine is contemplating because there are other third party energies impacting the conversation to be had about finances and children. So the divine feminine now in the center of the reading is almost at a crossroads. Do they pause the connection and wait for the divine masculine to come forward? Or do they walk away in which they are going to be feeling like they've lost that person? The divine masculine energy over here wants to offer devotion, wants to offer a family because they may know that that is what the divine feminine wants. But they've got some shadow work to do. Yeah. So right now, the divine uh, masculine is in silence. But it's because the divine feminine is very connected to the divine masculine. That's why I couldn't tell the difference. Let's quickly clarify my goodness and that shadow work libra i feel this is for libra men it's almost as if that shadow work is to um 
to do with your fear or overwhelming or, or doubting yourself in some shape, form or another. It's not nothing um, like really bad or anything. It just feels as if, um, remember the two of swords and the five of wands in reverse. You're doubting yourself. You're doubting whether or not you can have this conversation. That's your shadow self. You can. Remember, we saw the strength card. You've got the strength and the courage to have this conversation. So with the uh, eight of coins coming in reverse, the <laughs> divine feminine is absolutely looking at the detail of this connection. Yeah. Almost recognizing that there is a setback. Yeah. Uh, it's a setback. And that's why they're undecided. Do they go? and feel the grief now or do they put things on pause to wait and see if the divine masculine tells them something to do with finances and children i feel that um the divine feminine um recognizes that the divine masculine is a hard worker that does want to put in the work like i said the divine masculine wants to offer devotion a hundred percent but there's something the divine masculine isn't telling the divine feminine and the divine feminine knows it. That's why they're at a crossroads. Do they go? Do they stay? I feel the divine feminine knows that they also want to put work in um, to them, you know, into their, their work, their profession. They're trying to build something. This person is... Um, uh, this person, the divine masculine, uh, is, is, is skilled at what they do. Oh my God. The wheel of fortune. So this is a fated connection and the divine feminine knows it. That's why they're at a crossroads. It's almost as if they are trusting divine spirit universe and it will turn in their favor because the wheel of fortune is on, uh, this side, which is the divine feminine side thinking heavily of uh, the divine masculine. I feel that the divine feminine is telepathically communicating to the divine masculine. And there's the divine masculine. The divine masculine is solid, grounded, but slow to come forward. Let's continue. But I feel that they will. Yeah, look, the divine masculine will fight for this connection. They will fight to overcome the shadow work that they need to do. They're going to put the work in. I feel whoever the divine masculine is because they want to offer the divine feminine devotion, love, yeah, light, happiness, abundance, a family. But they may be doubting themselves. It could even just be that the divine masculine is, yeah, contemplating, thinking about it, trying to process it. How can you make this possible? And there's the divine mass. I can't make it up. The divine masculine is 100% with the king of coins ready to for long term commitment to settle down. Notice the two coins. They're feeling nervous, anxious. That's the two of swords and the five of wands coming in reverse. The divine masculine is doubting whether or not they can have these kind of conversations with the divine feminine. Yes, they can. The divine feminine already knows that there is a conversation that the divine masculine wants to say that is going to be about finances and children, one or the other or both. But the divine masculine is definitely ready for long term commitment marriage. I feel that they do want to offer that devotion. They see prosperity, happiness, abundance, but they're sad at the moment. The divine feminine knows that. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that there. Um, Libras, your reading went on a little bit. Um, but, you know, as you know, that's sometimes how it is. Um, if it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care, my lovelies. Bye-bye.